guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Haishi bead name keychain on this tutorial today. Um, these are super cute for a child's backpack, um, or if you just wanna make one to put on your keychain, um, I would certainly make it probably shorter if you wanted it on your keychain. I've also seen these hung off of a phone, like a little phone accessory. Anytime I make something with a name, I pretty much always um, use my daughter's name. So if you're always wondering why I'm Vivian and Olivia, or Liv and Viv, that is why. So you can see I have a finished one here with the cute little unicorn. Um, I just chose some colors like to match her backpack so she can hang it off. So we will make a second one here. Um, and I'm gonna do a rainbow for this one and use my other daughter's name, Olivia. So to begin, I'm going to take, oh, about 20 inches of fishing line, probably more than what I need. Those wire cutters are dull and not cutting. There we go. So again, about 20 inches of fishing line. I'm going to put this little keychain connector on I will include links to all of these supplies in the description below. So I just put the fishing line through that loop of the keychain ring or keychain clasp like that. And um, I pulled it halfway. So now I have the two ends of my fishing line here together. And now what I'm going to do is put a crimp bead over both pieces together. And I'm gonna pull that crimp bead all the way down. <clears throat> Excuse me, all the way down to the, the end part, the little hook here. And I'm going to crimp that bead in place. So I'm just gonna take my pliers and squish the crimp bead. Okay, so now I'm ready to put my beads on. And the nice thing is that because this is two pieces of fishing line, it's extra strong. So if it gets caught on something, um, hopefully it doesn't break it. Um, I'm going to begin with a little star, whoopsie, a little gold star bead. I'm gonna put that on first. And I'm going to do the rainbow pattern and I'll do it one way, put her name on, and then go back the opposite way after her name. So I'm gonna start with purple, and I'm doing two of these clay Haishi beads here to double it up. Sometimes I feel like a single one doesn't quite get the color across as much as two of them because they are pretty thin. So I will go through and put these beads on. You don't have to sit here and watch me do this. So I'm gonna put all of the rainbow on. I'm gonna put a little gold bead or a gold star. I'm gonna put her letters, another gold star, and then do the opposite of the rainbow, you know, the, the other way. Um, and then let me do that. When I return, I will show you how we finish the end and put a little charm at the end. So I have all of the beads on here. I'm ready to finish the end. And to do this, I'm going to slide a, <laughs> there we go, slide a jump ring on, or I'm sorry, <laughs> slide a crimp bead on. I'm not gonna do anything to that yet. And then what I wanna do is open up a jump ring hook on, I'm gonna put this little rainbow charm on the end and close it completely up. You wanna make sure it's definitely closed completely because you're sliding it on fishing line and fishing line is so skinny that if it's not closed all the way, you risk it coming off. So now I'm going to, I've got my crimp bead on both pieces. I'm going to put my fishing line through the jump ring that I just put on the charm. And I'm gonna go back through my crimp bead again so it makes that loop. 
So both pieces are going back through the crimp bead. I'm going to pull it so that there's no loose fishing line, no big space that's empty of fishing line there. And I'm crimping the crimp bead like that. And I'm just gonna trim off the excess. And it's all finished. So two super cute, but very different little keychain um, keychains for your child's backpack, your key ring, your phone, wherever you want to hang them off of. So cute, very easy to make. Um, I will include links to all of the supplies in the description below. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys.